It's been a mostly sunny Thursday throughout the Sunrise side. Thank you for tuning in to your Thursday evening weathercast. Temperatures down about almost a good 10 degrees from what we had back on Wednesday, thanks to a cold front that slid through the overnight hours. 61 degrees at this moment in Atlanta and Onaway, 64 in Alpena, 63 in Mayo, 65 in Oscoda. But those winds continue to be breezy this afternoon. Coming out of the west between 15 to 20 miles per hour, 17 in Harrisville, 15 in Mayo, 16 in West Branch, 13 in Roger City. And when you factor in those gusts, we've been seeing those winds howling out of the west between 25 in Alpena, 28 in Oscoda, even 29 miles per hour in Traverse City. But what's more unusual about the fact with these winds compared to what we had the last couple of days is that despite the fact that it's been breezy, the humidity has actually gone down and that's actually created a concern when it comes to fire weather. Yes, we are under a elevated fire danger throughout the sunrise side because of the lower humidity thanks to that cold front. Humidity values at this moment in Oscoda down to 20 percent, 26 percent in Alpena, 17 percent in Traverse City. So it's all throughout the entire Mitten State there is a fire danger. So make sure to properly put out those fires because with the low humidity and those breezy conditions, those fires will spread very quickly. Those dew points have also gone down 29 degrees in Alpena, 27 in Atlanta, 32 in Onaway, 24 in Oscoda. Just very dry outside compared to what we've seen over the summer months. We're dealing with those dew points up into those 60s and even in some of those rare instances in those 70s, it has really gone down. A couple of cirrus and cumulus clouds have been persisting throughout the northeast Michigan all day long with a little bit of leftover moisture from that cold front. But when it comes to rainfall, none whatsoever. So just a beautiful day to be outside. Just watch out for when it comes to those bonfires and those barbecues just to properly put them out. But the good news over the next day or two, we'll see an increase in that humidity as those winds begin to shift out of the south. Really high pressure in control throughout the day on Friday. So we'll actually get back into those 70s tomorrow and on Saturday. Now Saturday, we begin to introduce a bit more clouds ahead of some showers likely on Sunday. So make sure to have that umbrella with you for the second half of the weekend. So when it comes to those outdoor activities this weekend, make sure to do them on Saturday. It's looking to be somewhat of a wet one. Here is Sunday morning, already increasing clouds and the rain already in parts of Wisconsin, Illinois, and Iowa, and just entering the western UP. There is even that small chance for a rumble of thunder. And this is actually going to set up for somewhat of a cool downward trend when it comes to that thermometer for the work week. The hour by hour for tonight though, we're going to keep it clear, 39 degrees, so cooler than what we had this morning. For tomorrow though, warming up quickly up to 72 degrees, sunset at 6.40 p.m., but because of that southerly flow, temperature's not going to fall too much by tomorrow night into Saturday. Very warm and sunny, showers on Sunday, but look at those temperatures falling from those mid-70s on Saturday all the way down to 50 degrees on Wednesday. So make sure to take advantage of this beautiful sunshine, but also that warmth because it's going to come to an end by next week.